13th. The response to nationwide protests, a key topic in the race for the White House. We've seen many across the valley this year, and that means overtime for officers on our streets. Phoenix PD spending more than $8 million worth in just 34 days. ABC 15's Zach Crenshaw joins us live. And Zach, just really an unprecedented amount here. It really is, and that amount is still continuing. In early September, the first week of this month alone, the latest numbers Phoenix PD gave us, they paid out $300,000 roughly in demonstration overtime. And on the other side of these barricades a couple months ago, there were hundreds, if not thousands, of protesters. But now, just a couple dozen come out and demonstrate every week. $11,543,059. That's how much overtime has been doled out to Phoenix police officers since late May. That number is shocking. Back on May 28th, there was a lot of criminal activity that was happening towards the end of the night. Protesters dispersed across the city. A small group smashing building and police cruiser windows. Cabin yeah, things being thrown at officers. So Chief Jerry Williams fully mobilized her department. Everybody had to come in and, and be at work. All of the roughly 3,000 sworn officers, which equated to more than half a million dollars each day. We want to make sure we're protecting every single person and including our infrastructure. It's this misprioritization of needs. Um, of the city. That Black Lives Matter Metro Phoenix leader Jamar Williams believes the mobilization and costs are as excessive as they are unnecessary. I'm tired of the argument that we have to waste millions of dollars um, on this idea of hypothetical harm. Are we actually addressing the things that people are protesting for or are we just you know, spending $11 million to take care of some downtown property. Councilman Carlos Garcia has a lot of questions, especially about the department being fully mobilized through June 12th, despite most of those days having little to no protests. We've seen a lot of police officers um, just kind of parked around downtown over the last couple of months, um, and it does seem like a ridiculous amount. Garcia says the waiting around is still happening, as recent protests have involved a couple dozen people and chalked sides. Walks. We have to be ready. So yeah. how are you going to pay for this? I will tell you that we're, we're looking for ways. We're looking for grants. It has not been brought up to us. Um, we're just kind of expected to, to pay the bill afterwards. By the time it's all paid, there could be a new wave of protests. The question is, will there be the same set of problems? Our goal is always with good intentions to make sure that our city is safe. I want to know what the strategy is and what it is that we're actually afraid of. Now, the irony here isn't really lost on anyone. The defund the police movement and protesters are actually leading to more police spending and lining the pockets of the officers. Now, tonight, Mayor Gallego declining to comment and Councilman Sal DeCicio staying, saying in a statement, quote, 11 million is a bargain when compared to the destruction we've seen in other cities. Live downtown tonight, Zach Crenshaw, ABC.